I do not own the rights to this music. Hello and welcome to Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron. Sunday School lesson for Sunday, January 23rd, 2022. Our reference material for the Sunday School Summary is based upon the International Sunday School Lesson Series as published by the Sunday School Publishing Board. We are discussing Justice, Law, and History as the title of the Winter Lesson Series which is composed of three units or groups of lessons. In unit one, we talked about God requires justice. And in unit two, we're talking about God as the source of justice. The Justice, Law, and History series focuses on justice as applied and documented in the Old Testament and defines justice as originating with God and given to his people under the law. And in these lessons, God applies justice to the lives of his people. That's moderated by mercy, just as we received mercy from God. The title of our fourth lesson in the Unit 2 Winter Lesson Series is titled Incorruptible Leaders, or Leaders That Are Not Motivated by Money, Bribery, or Fortune and Fame. The key verse comes from Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 18. And it reads as follows, Judges and officers shalt thou make thee in all thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee throughout thy tribes, and they shall judge the people with judgment, or they shall judge the people with fairness based upon godly standards. Now, the title of today's lesson, Incorruptible Leaders, scripturally comes from the Old Testament book of Deuteronomy, chapter 16. Now, the book of Deuteronomy is a record of the repetition and elaboration of the laws of God gave Israel to govern the lives of the new generation who are about to enter the land of Canaan. Moses, as the writer, instructs them to appoint judges or officials for each of the tribes in every town that the Lord had given them. Which brings us to today's lesson, where Moses instructed the people that judges were to do their job fairly, that no one was to take bribes or render judgments unfairly, and lastly, Moses instructed Israel to follow justice and justice alone, so that they will be blessed by the Lord as opposed to being judged by the Lord. Summary lesson points for today, secure just leaders from Deuteronomy chapter 16, verses 18 through 20, and honor just decisions from Deuteronomy chapter 17, verses 8 through 13. The passages for the lesson today revolve around the key words of faith, justice, witness, contempt, and incorruptible. Now, in faith, we have the complete trust, assurance, or belief, or confidence in God. Justice is the process or result of using laws to fairly judge and punish crimes in conformity with truth, fact, and reason. Now, witness is an attestation to a truth or event, such as testimony, which is the basis of justice. And to show contempt means willful speech 
or behavior that's intended to show disrespect. And in our times, it's disrespect for others, for the court, for judges, for the rule of law, and for godly standards. Incorruptible is someone who is honest, trustworthy, not motivated by money, fame, or fortune. They are motivated by doing the right thing. Now, the first summary point, Moses instructs them to secure just leaders from Deuteronomy chapter 16, verses 18 through 20. And in these passages, Moses instructs the people of godly standards and guidelines for the appointment of just judges, meaning judges who will judge fairly. And he said that they are appoint officials for each of your tribes in every town that the Lord your God is giving you and they should judge fairly. He also instructs them that they should not show partiality or pervert justice. Do not accept bribes, for a bribe blinds the eyes of the wise and twists the words of the innocents. And the responsibility of judges is to apply the law according to godly standards of righteousness. Not what is popular, but what is right. And they are to follow justice and justice alone so that they may live and possess the land of the Lord your God is giving you. So they should follow justice in order to live in harmony and prosperity through the blessings of God. The second summary point is that they were to honor just decisions. And in these passages, Moses organized the courts to ensure trustworthy judgments of the priests. And in this case, he said that if the cases come before the courts that are too difficult for the courts to judge, the local courts, that is, whether it's bloodshed, which is murder versus manslaughter or lawsuits or assaults, that they should take them to the place that the Lord will choose and in biblical times, this was to the place where the temple was located. And they were to go to the Levitical priest and to the judges who were in office at that time and inquire of them as to the judgment that should be rendered. And it further instructs them that they are to act according to the decisions that they are given at the place of the decision. In this place, in this case, either it's local or if it requires more expertise, it's given to a court with higher authority, meaning that the court would have better resources to uh, administer justice, such as our court systems today. We have local courts, or district courts, we have state courts, we have appellate courts, and we have the ultimate arbiter of our laws, which is the Supreme Court of the U.S., but it also instructs the children of Israel that they are to act according to whatever they teach you and the decisions that they give you. Do not turn aside from what they tell you, neither to the right or to the left. So we have a responsibility to accept a reasoned and honest judgment. We owe it to the Lord and we owe it to our fellow man so that we can operate in harmony in society. So it also gives a stern instruction that those who show contempt or a reckless disregard for the laws and the guidelines that Moses is establishing for the administration of justice. And Moses says that those who show contempt for the judge or for the priests who stand ministering these to the Lord, your God, they should be put to death so that if it is a decision from God and we are supposed to accept the decision because it has been reasoned and it should be applied on godly standards, then we have a responsibility to follow that law unless it conflicts with God's law. And lastly, for those who do not conform to the law, Moses instructed that they were to be punished by death. So we are to follow honest decisions, first of all, because it's the 
righteous thing to do, and it is the godly thing to do. So those are the summary lesson points for Sunday, January 23rd, 2022. We should elect secure, just leaders, and we should honor just decisions. So we have a responsibility to uh, administer the law, and everyone has a responsibility to follow the law. So this is Brother Ron with the Sunday School Summary for Sunday, January 23rd, 2022. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed week, and we hope to see you next Sunday for another edition of Sunday School Summary with Brother Ron.